We now move on to section 3.3 chemical energy and there will be two videos in this section starting with looking at the experimental determination of entropy values. So in this first lecture we're going to look at the experimental determination of entropy values. Now from an industrial viewpoint it's very important that you know whether or not a reaction is going to be exothermic or endothermic. If it's endothermic it will bring the temperature of the reaction mixture down and hence make the reaction very slow which is a bad thing in industry. However if it's an exothermic reaction it will increase the temperature which will speed up the reaction which is good unless however it gets out of control and you subsequently have an explosion. So the whether or not a reaction is exothermic or endothermic is very important to determine in the design of industrial processes. Now for some uh, reactions we can simply measure the entropy change. So in National 5 you use this equipment to work out how much energy was given out by a fuel burning. Okay. We're going to extend this just a wee bit to determine the entropy of combustion for different substances. So the definition of the entropy of combustion is that it's energy change when one mole of substance burns completely in oxygen. So we use the equation EH equals CM delta T, which we use in National 5, as the start of the calculation where C is the specific heat capacity of the water we're heating up, M is the mass of the water in kilograms, and delta T is the change in temperature. So let's look at the first example. When 0.19 grams of methanol was combusted, it raised the temperature of 100 cubic centimetres of water from 25 to maximum temperature of 45 degrees. Calculate the entropy of combustion for methanol. Okay, most of these questions there's two parts to it. In the first part we work out the EH value. So let's start by working out EH. And of course EH equals CM delta T, which is 4.18. The mass of water, we've got 100 cubic centimetres, so that's a 100 grams, which is 0 0.1 kilograms. And the temperature rise 25 to 45 was 20. So EH is going to be 8.36 kilojoules. And you did that calculation in National 5, but we have to take it a bit further. What we want is not the amount of heat produced when we burnt 0.19 grams of methanol, but how much heat would be produced if we burnt one mole of methanol. So in the second part of the calculation, we to change this into a delta H value. So when we burnt 0.19 grams of methanol, we produced 8.36 kilojoules. But I want to know how much energy we produced if I burnt one mole. Now the gram formula mass of methanol is 32 grams. So by direct portion I want to know the energy given out by 32 grams. So if we divide through by 0 0.19, we get that one gram would give me 44 kilojoules, then multiply by 32, so 32 grams or one mole, would give 1408 kilojoules. Don't leave the answer like that, so leave it delta H equals, and it's only at this very last stage that I worry about the sign, okay? temperature rose so it's an exothermic reaction so the delta H value should be negative. So negative 1408 kilojoules small k capital J. Okay so the first stage you did in National 5, the second stage is a little extra step we have to do it higher. Let's look at another example. Now this example is actually easier but sometimes people find it harder. 400 kilojoules of energy were given out when 5 grams of butane was burned. Calculate the entropy of combustion for 
butane. Well, first step, always work out the EH value. Well, I say work out, but we're not told the mass of water, we're not told to temperaturise, but we're just told the EH value here, 400 kilojoules. So EH equals 400 kilojoules. So they've done that part for you. So the second step is work out delta H as before. So 5 grams gave me 400 kilojoules. The gram formula mass of butane is 58. So I divide by what? 5 to get 1 gram is 80 kilojoules. Multiply by 58. 58 grams, which is 1 mole, will be minus 4,000, it will be 4,640 kilojoules. So, FPA combustion of butane is, uh, it says the energy was given out, so if it's given out energy, that's an exothermic reaction. So it's minus 4,640 kilojoules per mole. Okay. Right, we can extend this method and use it not just for working out the entropy rate of combustion, but the entropy values for many chemical reactions. For example, you can work out the entropy of solution by measuring how much the water increases or decreases in temperature when we dissolve a known amount of a substance in it. Uh, let's just look at one example of that. So when 10 grams of sodium hydroxide was dissolved in 200 cubic centimetres of water, the temperature rose by 5 degrees. Calculate the entropy of solution for sodium hydroxide. So as before, start off, work out EH. So EH equals CM delta T is 4.18. Uh, 4.18, the mass of water, 200 cubic centimetres, so that's 0.2 kilograms, the temperature rise 5 degrees, so that comes out at 4.18 kilojoules. So the second stage, work out the delta H. So 10 grams gave us 4.18 kilojoules. Gram formula mass of sodium hydroxide is 40 grams, so I can do that straight conversion straight from 10 to 40. I don't need to divide through to make it 1 gram. I just multiply by 4, I'll get 40 grams. Multiply the 4.18 by 4, I get 16.72. So delta H, again, now think of the sign. What happened to the temperature? It rose. So it's exothermic, 16.72 kilojoules per mole. Okay, so we can, using this E H equals CM delta T, we work out the entropy, entropy values for many different chemical reactions. Okay, so three things you must be able to do. Firstly, you should be able to explain why it's important, especially in industry, to know the entropy change of a chemical reaction. You should be able to use the equation EH equals CM delta T to determine the entropy change for a reaction. And you should be able to explain why experimentally determined entropy values are usually lower than the actual values. Actually, I didn't mention that. Well, we did do it at National 5. But when you're doing these experiments in the lab, you usually get heat loss or even heat gain from the surroundings. You haven't got a perfectly insulated system. Or if it's a combustion reaction, you'll get, probably get incomplete combustion and you'll get quite a sooty flame. 